Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to explain how to fix the virus and threat protection page not available error. This is what you may see trying to open Microsoft Defender, a built-in Windows antivirus program. There are quite a few reasons for this to happen, including malware activity. In this video, I will explain why this happens and how to fix virus and threat protection page not available. To start with, let's find out why the virus and threat protection page not available error appears. It is a generic notification that pops up when you try to open Microsoft Defender while it is disabled. As I said, there may be several reasons for this, and the first one is the presence of another antivirus software. Quite a few antivirus programs, especially renowned ones, disable Microsoft Defender as it may interfere with their functionality. Another reason here is that Microsoft Defender was disabled by your system administrator. This is highly possible if you encounter the virus on threat protection page not available problem on your workplace machine. Administrators may disable it for different reasons, including running the antivirus software that does not disable the defender on its own. One more reason for virus and threat protection page not available error to appear is malware activity. Malicious programs, well, they do not want anything to stop them from doing their dirty deeds. And since the Defender is present in pretty much every Windows installation and has widely known kill switches, it is among the most popular targets. If you have no third-party antiviruses in the system and this is your personal computer, chances are there is a malicious program active on your computer. Before moving on to the ways to fix the issue, you should remove the malware. To do this, I recommend running a scan with grid and soft anti-malware. This program will easily find and remove any malicious software. Download it by the link in the description, run a full scan, let it finish and press clean now to remove the threats. Well then, now let's see how to fix the virus and threat protection page not available. All this is done by going through register keys. You should check their values and settings and change to appropriate values if they are different. You can see all the needed keys and values on the screen. I will duplicate all of them in the video description. This should reverse the changes that make Microsoft Defender inaccessible. Reboot the system for the changes to take effect. Alternative thing to try here is to reset the Microsoft Defender as an application in the system settings. Go to settings, find here system, go to system components and find Windows Defender. There, you need to find and click the reset button. This will revert all the changes in the Defender settings to original. If this does not work for you, chances are the files of Microsoft Defender are corrupted. Fortunately, this may be solved pretty easily by running a recovery scan with built-in Windows utilities, namely Deployment Image Servicing and Management and System File Checker, or DISM and SFC for short respectively. Run Command Prompt as Administrator. Then, type the command you see on the screen. It will be duplicated to the description as well. DISM should be run first, as Microsoft recommends. The output of the SFC tool you should be looking for is the Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and successfully repair them. If the result is different, then the issue is something specific to your system, and you may need to contact Microsoft support on their forum to find the solution. Remember, if you encounter the virus and threat protection page not available issue on a corporate PC, then there is not much you can do about that. You see, enterprise machines are often shipped with Windows Long Term Support Channel Editions, LTSC for short, that are missing quite a few features, including Microsoft Defender. Even if it is not an LTSC edition, it is common to see system administrators disabling the built-in protection in favor of a different security tool that your company may use. I hope that video helped you with finding the solution. Good luck and stay safe online.